Well, it's the third of third or fourth of March, and I'm out here in the woods, thinking since the temperature's been in the 50s and 60s throughout the day, and it's been we've had some rain, and there's been a little bit of moisture, that the possibility of some morel mushrooms popping is going to be pretty good, but. I don't know for sure since it kind of looks like that it might be too dry out here. But anyway, I figured I'd make this quick little video and get an idea. And if I find something, I'll let you know. So far, I found a turkey feather. Well, here's my first evidence that something possibly could have happened recently. If you look down there in your screen, there is a oyster mushroom that is dried up. So it's possible that here in the last week, since that takes about 10 days to get that size, that mushrooms might have been uh, flushing, but, or at least popping here and there. I don't see much of a flush, but anyway, that's what I found so far. Okay, so last year, I found quite a few mushrooms here. They clear cut these cottonwoods out of here and I found a few mushrooms but it, usually, it was really just the first year since they've been dead. So my hope was with this year that I would find a bunch here. But you can kind of see what I, I got here. I got a mess. There's a lot of honey. And if I find something, I'll show you. But this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I'm looking for elms and old cottonwoods that are laying on the ground where the bark's starting to slip in the trees. Dutch elm business, which I'm not sure, but I think there's not a enough moisture to be such a good day for doing this, but I'm still going to look because it's fun. Well, just wrapping this up, I walked all over the property, didn't find anything but the turkey feather, and then I found some quail feathers where a hawk had had a nice meal. But I did have an enjoyable walk. Uh, saw just one oyster mushroom, no big deal. But it was a good day, any day you can get out in the woods. So I just encourage everybody, uh, at least try. Um, once you start finding morels and you start frying them, you're just gonna be addicted. Um, like I said, it's a little bit early for them. The ground's a little bit dry out here, but I figured, oh, what the heck? I'm already out here anyway. Might as well go look. This is a buddy of mine's place. Um, I know that this year is going to be a bumper year for morels because of all the clear-cut cottonwoods down there by the fence line. Should be about the first or second year, and I found quite a few last year, a dozen or so. And so I'm expecting better things this year, but I think I'm about two weeks two to three weeks away yet still and some of course some, some rain and some moisture would help that but we got some weather coming in here this weekend that's going to be back down in the 20s again the 28 29 degree range somewhere in there so i'm thinking once that gets out of here and we get some rain that this is going to be the on start and the onslaught of the fungus among us thanks